All right. I'm with Senator Gary Farmer of uh, Broward County, and Senator Farmer has filed the very first bill in regards to smoking of cannabis uh, in compliance with the governor who has asked for legislation in order to help out with the, uh, the smoking ban. Now, you had actually filed a bill last year. Yes. Is this different, or is this is that similar to the bill you filed last year? Uh, it's very similar. Uh, I think there might be some slight changes. I know we put some language in this bill to deal with caregivers. There's some dispute out there about caregivers being able to administer even the oils or the approved forms of medicinal marijuana. But it is, it is very, very similar to last year's bill. Uh, and the point and the uh, uh, goal of the bill is quite simple. Uh, honor and implement the will of 71% of Floridians who clearly voted to not only allow medicinal marijuana, but allow people uh, to smoke medicinal marijuana if, if that's the uh, uh, mode of delivery that's uh, most uh, effective to them. How does this bill work as far as removing the ban on smokable cannabis? Well, it just simply amends the implementing statute that we passed uh, two years ago uh, to uh, 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 make clear that smoking of marijuana is an accepted form of delivery. Uh, we amend the definition of uh, delivery device, uh, which did not include uh, uh, instruments or things used uh, for smoking of marijuana. Uh, and it's, it's very simple. It's, it, 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 in, in legislative parlance around here, uh, you could call it a glitch bill. Uh, uh, to, to correct a glitch in our uh, original implementing legislation. All right, so it allows the, the use of smokable. Now, does it say that it has to be in the form of a, a canister that's sealed? It can only be used in a vaping device, or can it be sold in bulk and, and, and allowed to be uh, doled out in, in grams, or how can it be distributed? Uh, we don't speak to that. Um, we simply take the broad position uh, that smoking of marijuana will be allowed and that certain devices will be allowed to smoke it. Um, we believe that the Department of Health will uh, then pass the detailed regulations that will allow for that, but it's clear that um, uh, we will be directing them to allow for a smokable form of medical marijuana. So basically, once this bill passed, it'll be up to the Department of Health to create the rules and regulations to allow it at that point. There will be some rules and regs that are gonna be needed, yeah, yes. Okay, and it also talks about edibles, is that correct? Yes. What, what, how does it deal with edibles as well? Well, I mean, I think the existing language for edibles was a little bit restrictive. And I think um, uh, uh, our original legislation um, sought to um, not make them like candies <laughs> uh, because of the belief that that will somehow lead to children um, ingesting uh, this, this form of uh, uh, medicine. And uh, I think it was an overly restrictive approach that we took, and we're just trying to tweak that a little bit to, uh, again, the, the goal here is uh, uh, laws that recognize the fact that no two patients are alike, uh, that different forms of medical marijuana delivered in different ways can be more effective for one patient than the other. And so we wanna provide the greatest options so that people get the relief that they need. How is it, does it address situations in regards to caregivers? Uh, it, it just, uh, it, again, it's a very, um, it's, if I remember correctly, it's just a three or four word uh, uh, change to existing law. I think, and frankly, it might be just two. I think we just might add or caregiver to make clear that somebody who is providing care to a patient, for example, think of a patient with Parkinson's disease or with uh, uh, ALS, you know, or, or, or these are, are, are uh, diseases that affect your muscle control. Uh, those people need help from a caregiver to administer marijuana mm -hmm. and, and medical marijuana. And so we want to make it clear uh, that that will be the case. And frankly, it's our hope that um, by that clarification, uh, perhaps it will help in the fight against third party payers uh, who are not at this point in time compensating. Uh, caregivers for administering uh, uh, this uh, uh, legal form of medication. How has your been re bill been received so far by Senate leadership? Um, you know, I, I uh, uh, spoke with uh, Senate President Galvano just yesterday, and um, uh, I, he, uh, he was very receptive. Uh, he's made some great public comments already uh, in reaction to uh, Governor DeSantis' uh, directive that, that we take action. 
uh, and I'm very hopeful. And I, I, I told President Galvano that I work with him if we need to tweak some of the language or whatnot. Uh, that that I would certainly be willing to work with him, and and it's my hope that uh, he will be fully on board, and, and that this bill will get swift consideration uh, here in the Senate. And of course, like any bill, you have to have a House sponsor as well, a House bill. Has there been anybody in the House who was also considered having a uh, House version? Uh, several people are interested. Uh, I'm uh, speaking with some folks over there and trying to to, to figure out uh, who would be the most effective person to, to carry the bill. Oh, good. Because obviously, the governor wants to see this done during the first couple weeks of session, so we have to have it getting started at the beginning of the work so we can go through committee, go through uh, discussion, and hopefully tweak it to the point where everybody's ready to vote on it from the get-go at the very beginning. And I am very glad to see that you are on top of things. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. It's a cause I believe in. Uh, uh, the timing was just perfect for us. We were working on the bill, and then the governor uh, made his announcement, and, and, and we filed the bill right away, and we're ready to go. And I think with President Galvano's help and leadership, uh, we are going to get this done pretty quickly. All right, thank you very much for your leadership on this issue. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you very much. Gary, right. Senator Gary Farmer from Broward County.